this video is most definitely gonna be published after I deliver this to its rightful owner, rightful recipient, Abby. And she is my childhood best friend. She's honestly a non-biological sister to me and to my sister. So she's like our third sister from another mister. And her 16th birthday is coming up and I'm going to the celebration on Sunday and I'm driving to New Jersey for it. It's gonna be like, I'm estimating like a three and a half hour ride. And I'm gonna go in the morning and I'm gonna be there the whole day. I'm planning to meet up with one of my best friends over there. Her name is Piwao. Her actual name is Pamela or Stephanie and I call her Piwao. So it's a reference to Jersey Shore. If y'all know who Wow and Snooki are, She's P-Wow and I'm Loki because my name starts with an L. It's loose. Hi, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Come here. Come here. Ready? Come here. It's okay. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Okay, she doesn't want to stay on my lap. Anyway, I thought... Oh gosh, all of her hair is on my lips. And I don't even have lip gloss on because I ate it all. And I kissed it off too. So it's going to be her 16th birthday. I'm so excited. It's going to be at a restaurant. And it's going to be in Avalon. Oh, they're so cute. It's going to be in Avalon. That's near Woodbridge. So it's like if you're going from Elizabeth, which is where I'm from. That's my hometown. To Woodbridge. It's like right before then. I think it's right off of US 109. I think it, I never got the hang of... Which one is Route 1? Which one's Route 9? But it's somewhere... Oh, you're so cute. But it's somewhere around there. It's easy to get to. I know the area. I've already checked the direction, so it's not going to be super far from the area that I grew up in and that I transited a lot there. So I'm excited to go there right after I hang out with one of my best friends in the morning, and I'm excited to see Piwao, catch up with her in person. I did FaceTime her recently, and we talked about life, work, stress stories reconnecting feeling joyful in our bond in our relationship oh my gosh she's so cute look at her look at her hi Ellie. she's purring i don't know if y'all can hear her i wish that y'all could hear her like i do because she sounds like a jaguar like an actual jaguar or panther that's what she sounds like and we're planning to go to yellow rose cafe and that's where i got my vegan cake once for my birthday I think it was for mine or for Chelsea's and it was super good they did a great job and I remember when it used to be cedar something bakery and I think it was also vegan but for some reason they closed but a new one opened up and that was like a couple years ago and I believe it's owned by a couple that went to college together at Seton Hall University I think it's Seton Hall University not Seton Hall College in I think the place is called Seton Hall, the city, if I'm not correct, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure. So it's a cute story and I actually know someone who went to one of the high schools in my district when I was in high school and I saw her featured on the Instagram page and I was like, I know that person. That's literally the friend of someone who was on my bus and they were good friends. And actually what's so funny is that I went to school with her. She probably doesn't even know. And she was like two grades or three grades younger than me and I remember seeing her in the hallways in elementary school but it's, it's like the world is so small it's a fun story it's a funny story whenever I think of all the connections between people and I'm like actually I had a more direct connection than I thought with this person that I know through a mutual contact insane so I'm happy I'm excited and I remember asking on Facebook vegan in New Jersey for recommendations for best brunch places and a lot of people recommended some spots I think only one person recommended Yellow Rose I've been there before so I would low-key prefer to go somewhere else that I haven't been to explore with her as well because I doubt that she would have been at a vegan place period she likes going to vegan places when I'm with her but it's not like she'll go out of her way to try a vegan place to eat at or drink something at so I'm gonna check out other popular places that have been commented to me that fit the requirements of being convenient, not being super far out of the way. I want it to be close to her too, because if we're meeting up 
and I'm going straight there when I go to New Jersey in the morning afternoon time before the party starts at two and I want to show up early to the party so I can have time if possible with Abby I don't know if she's gonna be super busy I'm thinking like it's gonna be like a quince sweet 16 type party so I'm guessing she's gonna be super busy she's already been super busy and all this has been confirmed to me kind of late in the game understandably because she's been ultra occupied with planning and she has an injury that she's been recovering from literally had a crutch so and i think she still has a crutch or two i don't know if you can have one crutch and not the other one i'm not sure but i definitely saw one in a picture and it's a shame because she's been dealing with that and then a lot of preparation a lot of uncertainty about the day and the location maybe not the location but definitely the day i wish the birthday party was going to be held so it got confirmed too late for my boyfriend to ask off from work and it's complicated to try and get a friend or a coworker to try and cover a shift because it's a long shift it's from like 8 a.m to 5 something p.m that's a lot of moolah that's a lot of moolah if you do the math about 16 per hour ish times how many hours is that it's more than eight hours so to ask him to take off and I was gonna work that day too six hours but I called off I didn't call off I asked off and they haven't accepted it or rejected it yet and I've given them time so I don't know why they're taking a while on that but if they don't approve it I'm gonna call off that day anyway because I told you through the app that I can't make it that day and I'm thinking of picking up a shift tomorrow maybe early in the morning or in the afternoon to try and make up those hours because six hours is a lot of money too that I don't want to let go of. But at the same time, it is a sacrifice that I'm willing to make if I can't find a shift. I've been trying to look for shifts that are available tomorrow that I can take so that I don't have to say goodbye to all those hours that I'm missing this Sunday. But if it doesn't end up happening, God knows the reason why and it's all part of his plan. And it's a sacrifice that I'm willing to take, to make, <laughs> to take, to make to see my childhood best friend, Abby, and also my best friend from high school, Wow. I'm excited. And even though there are other people that I could maybe try to see and would like to see, I don't know if it's going to be possible because I'm already in such a tight time crunch since I'm planning to leave here at like six in the morning. And let's say it takes me four hours to get there. I'll get there like at 10-ish. I won't leave here probably at exactly 6. So let's say I get there like 10.30 or 11. And that's around the time at which I'm planning to eat with Piwao. And then let's say we take 2 hours, right? 12, 1 p.m. I should be on my way to the 16. The Sweet 16 Quinceañera Hybrid. And I do want to get there a little early, say hi to the family, because I grew up with family. I grew up with my childhood best friend. We were neighbors, actually. It's a fun, cute story. Maybe I'll tell it one day. We lived right above and below each other. So I lived on the bottom and she lived on the top floor. And they rented from my family. And we literally grew up together. I remember when her mom was pregnant. And I remember when she was born. I remember hearing her crying. I remember when she threw up on my dad, when my dad was carrying her. When she was a teeny tiny baby. I remember these scenes. Literally. In the noggin. It's not like I need videos to help me jog that memory. I have it in my mind. And we grew up playing all together. My sister. Her and I. Good memories. I love her. So much. She's in my heart. And I think about her often. I see her on Instagram all the time. On Instagram notes. And I was picking a lot of photos and videos to send not videos but photos mainly because we're gonna do a slideshow and they were asking for photos so my mom asked me for some because her mom had let her know that she's in need of that and my mom doesn't have access to her old old facebook so i went in there since i'm still friends with that account and i went through all of her photos she had like 700 something photos i believe and i went through every single one and saved all of the ones from childhood from anything any period of time before today or the day that i was looking at the photos it was from like 2000 before 2014 i'm pretty sure maybe the earliest was like 2013 all the way to 2000 
2018, I think, was the last photo that I saw in her photo gallery. So I went through all of them, picked the relevant ones, and saved them. And then the ones that were including Abby in some capacity, either by herself or with us. I don't think maybe there was like a single one that was just of her, but if they want, they can crop us out. I don't mind. And there are tons, 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 tons where it's her and at least one other family member of hers or of mine. We did hang out a lot. We have lots of shared memories and she's my sister from another mister. What can I say? So I'm happy and this is me going to set up the happy birthday present I have for her. This is the bag I decided to get. I got this on drive up because again, as I said earlier, they had the goods in Germantown and Frederick just did not have some of the variety that I was looking for in terms of gifts. So I asked her if she wanted, if she liked Legos. She said yes. So I got her a gift that I've actually been wanting for myself. And I think anybody would love to have, anyone who likes Legos would love to have because you can have this as a decorative piece in your house. I don't know if it comes with a vase. I really don't think it does. I think it just comes with the flowers and these little stems. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says vase not included. But you can easily get a vase. This looks like a vase that they literally sell at Target. I don't know if they did that on purpose or not. And that looks like tea in the background. It looks like they're putting the tea as the water in here, which would be so ugh, disgusting. But it's actually for that mug back there, probably. So I love this. I hope she loves it too, because that's all I care about, honestly. And I'm going to grab a pen I find here. And this is a pen I'm going to use to write on everything i'm gonna write her name right here there's a little spot right there oh uh yeah my sister <laughs> my sister is saying it's so sad that we barely have daily calls because we always had a daily call but ever since she got a job which is awesome life update chelsea has a job now and she's slaying it we have not had time to schedule daily calls because i'm busy when she's at work and then when she's off from work i'm still working or it's too late after work and i just want to go to sleep I want to do my night routine and go to sleep so that's been the issue but i've still been trying to find some minutes here and there to call her during my breaks or when i'm going to work or coming back home from work anything like that usually in the morning i used to call her in the mornings but now I don't know because she could be busy. She does have inconsistencies in her shift. I feel. Or maybe I'm just not that familiar with her shifts. Like I am familiar with her shift. And at the same time, the timing confuses me because there's such a big time gap. There's three hour difference between her time and my time. So in my brain, I still haven't solidified. And also I think they do give her different hours every now and then because she's still in that training phase and they haven't given her a solid schedule that I can rely on every week. It's okay. We still make time and even though they're not daily calls, it's semi-daily calls, I'd say. What should I write here? I'm going to put for Abby. And then I'm going to put from loose also we have nicknames for each other it's sammy and penny and we used to play on roblox all the time back in the day even when i was at college sometimes i would make time to play roblox with her and my sister which was nearly impossible because college was honestly having my head spinning all the time because i was busy doing homework studying working one of my three four jobs that i had at the same time sometimes I was always busy or socializing or contributing to one of my organizations that I was a part of or had leadership in. It was a lot. It was a lot. Thank God it's not like that anymore. My life is more calm, more relaxed, and this pace is more comfortable and allows me to take care of myself more properly than I ever could back in the day. For Abby from this right here, super cute. And I'm going to write the nicknames we have for each other in the card that I have here. 
I'm gonna take out, bruh. This box is kind of busted. Look at it. Blood. This is so funny. I think I'm not even gonna edit this, honestly, because what I noticed is that editing takes so long. I'd rather just focus on being authentic and saying whatever I have to say and making sure I don't say anything that I don't want on the internet so that y'all can feel like this is us communicating. Like we're on FaceTime and you're just watching me do all this instead of super edited. I hate when vlogs sound like the person is talking nonstop with no breathing in between because subconsciously it's like my brain is waiting for a pause and a breather. Like, girl, you need to breathe, but I don't hear that. So it's like subconsciously, my nervous system is like, whoa, are they okay? Like they continue on without breathing. This is not normal. This is not human. Like, is this a risk for me? Is this dangerous? Are you a robot? Like, I feel like my brain low key says that because I feel like that in a way. I don't think these thoughts, but I'm like, why are you not breathing? You're run on sentences. It just sounds like run on sentences forever and ever. Like there are no periods and I don't like that. It's not a natural flow of speech. And it makes me uncomfortable. It doesn't bring a calming vibe to me, especially when you're talking on matters that are more negative or more real life, like bad news or something that you're struggling with or working on. It's not necessarily positive. It's negative or complaining, something of that tone or drama. It makes me feel even worse because I'm like, we need some sort of calm in the room. Is the calm in the room with us? Are the good vibes in the room with us? So back to what I was saying, I'm going to try and do minimalist editing like I used to back in the day. I'm okay with jump cuts more so when it's scenery and landscape because you don't need to see the same landscape for a whole minute. This is not a scenery video. This is a vlog. But when it comes to talking, I want to leave that more uncut, more natural vibes. Okay, so here it is. Relax and unwind face mask collection. And they have the relaxing, I don't know all of the types in here. Okay, pineapple peel off mask, watermelon peel off mask, aloe vera cream mask, tea tree mud mask, strawberry peel off mask, and lavender mud mask. It says, suitable for all skin types, dermatol dermatologically approved. This packaging is recyclable and all of these are vegan. Excuse you, which is fantastic. I hate that the packaging looks like it's about to come apart again. I don't know how exactly I can fix that. I'm gonna try a little bit right here. And if it doesn't work, then so be it. All right, this is the best I can do. I've put it back together, but since there's a crease, it keeps wanting to come undone. I think this was the last one they had, if I'm not mistaken. For some, or maybe just one of these items, it did say only one left. I'm pretty sure, either in the Frederick one or in the Germantown one, I don't know. But for some of these products, definitely low stock. And I was like, oh, it would be terrible if they ran out before I got there. And they were super fast with my order. So if you work at the Germantown Target, snaps for you. Y'all work quick with the order. Like I was in there and we were exploring in Target and they were done by the time that we were done. And it hadn't even been two hours, which is the amount of time that they tell you that they're going to take to fulfill your order, if all goes well. Happy that it worked out. Raspberry Fizz Shea Sugar Scrub with raspberry seed oil, chia seed oil, and shea butter. That's the scrub that I got her for soft, exfoliated skin. Oh, no! These are my boyfriends. He forgot. He didn't forget. I forgot. I take responsibility. He bought these and of course we secured the discount. We secured the team member red card combined discount of 15%. And this, he already had it because this is for my phone. I have USB-C on my phone and he's like, I only have, well, he usually only had a charger for his phone. He's like, I need one for when you need to charge your phone. And the whole time I was like, oh, I saw this on your wish list and I was planning to get it for you because I thought that he wanted it for himself or the car. But he was like, no, this is for you. Why would you buy something for me that's actually for you? That's weird. And I was like, wait, wait. I didn't know. And I literally melted. I was like, you are so cute for buying this out of consideration for me. Like, I love you. Like, he didn't even tell me about it. He just didn't. And that's what we need. That's the energy we need. 
So I was like, no, I didn't mean that. I thought it was honestly for you. I didn't, like, I would never do that. I would never buy something for you that is ultimately going to be only for me at the end of the day. And he was like, yeah, I was about to say, because that's kind of strange. And I was like, heck yeah, that's strange. Who would do that? Probably people that only care about themselves, which is like, just buy it for yourself, right? That makes no sense, whatever. People are weird. So that has nothing to do with this purchase, with this gift. And this is the lip bar. I feel like I showed all of you this. I don't know why I'm showing you again. But I got her a lip liner because I do see that she's into that. And my mom told me that her mom told her that she's into makeup and she loves lip liners. She emphasized that. So I was like, caught that in my brain, registered it, logged it. And found this one that's really nice. And it's a nice brown shade that I feel like will flatter her nicely. And I've seen her post. She has two posts up on Instagram. And in both of them, her lips are slaying. Her makeup is slaying. And the liner and the lip gloss or lip product combo. I don't know if she uses lipstick or lip balm. I don't know. But it looks like it has a different color than her natural lip color. So I think she uses some type of lip gloss or lipstick. And this one looks good. It did look kind of reddish brownish for the lip liner. And it seems like she likes that color for that. So I got this one for her. And then I got this for the lip oil. It's a nice red that I feel like will flatter her super nicely. Her skin color is similar to that of my sister's. So she's on the paler, whiter side. And I feel like this bold red that isn't super opaque because this is a gloss is going to look great on her. This is in the shade Newsfeed. I want to open it so bad my impulsive thoughts are telling me to open it and smell it because I love the way that this smells I don't know if they all smell the same but I had the lip the fat lip oil I don't know why it's called fat like my breath my what the fuck <clears throat> okay I meant boyfriend I don't know why I said brother I don't even have a brother I only have a sister that was so weird anyways sweet home Alabama I don't know why this is called fat lip oil lip drip oil i think it's because the applicator is fat and it's such a viscous consistency you could call it fat that's what i'm guessing like it's kind of funny and it makes sense it's cute fat lip oil like i like saying that fat lip oil you want some of my fat lip oil like it's getting like batty like this is a batty lip product I like it. Anyway, next I got Being Frenchy Soothe and Comfort Cashmere Vanilla Hair, Body, and Linen Mist. So you can put this not only on your hair, not only on your body, but you can spray this on your pillowcases, on your sheets, on your comforter, on your duvet, whatever you have on your bed. And it's all going to smell good. And it says Mood Science Scent Technology. So I'm guessing this helps with your mood. It's paraben-free, vegan, cruelty-free, dermatologist. I, why do I keep wanting to say dermatological? Dermatologist tested fragrance infused with essential oils made in the USA. What the heck? Oh, okay, that's not for me. That's for my neighbor. Anyway, yeah, and I smelled it earlier in Target. I think it was like a few days ago because someone had it and they were checking it out. And I think it was leaky because I literally smelled it like this and I smelled it strongly. But thankfully, that's not the case with this. I can barely barely smell like the ghost of the scent so that's good it means that it's most likely going to get to ivy safe and sound completely unused perfect condition this is the card that i got inside message says especially today happy birthday so the outside is all good things this year and then inside it says especially today happy birthday so i'm gonna write on this after i film this video the sweet personal message i'm gonna have for her that y'all are not privy to accessing is that the right way to use that word privy i am not privy to that information you all will not be privy to the contents of this letter because it's gonna have some heart to heart information and this is the tissue that i got for her it matches pretty well thinking about it i feel like i should have gotten the other one but it was more expensive this was like one dollar and something i think let me see. oh no this is his receipt so i'll keep it over there give it to him tomorrow i think this was one something almost two dollars but the other one was like three and a half dollars ish 
but it did have really nice colors it had a different shade of pink that wasn't so dusty it was a little darker i think with purple and blue i love that trio together it eats so bad it looks like you remember those tricks yogurts that were half and half like pastel blue kind of not really pastel but it was a cotton candy blue with a cotton candy pink it looked like and it was beautiful like i love that and then add in like when you mix it it turns into the most beautiful purple like those three colors combined is such a perfect palette y'all know what i'm talking about if you appreciate colors that hard i can't i can't like it makes me want to explode and i would love to have a party with those colors one day maybe maybe a gender reveal in the future i could have everything with blue purple and pink there we go bada bing bada boom so i'm gonna set this up i haven't honestly like it's been a long time since i've set up a gift that has tissue paper in it so you know i had to go all out with a sweet 16 quinceanera type beat tissue paper bag gifts because you only turn 16 once in your life and it's an extremely special birthday i don't know how to do this i forgot how to do this honestly i don't know if i put the gifts underneath in that yeah, I think I put the gifts underneath, and then I put the tissue paper on top. We're learning as we go, all right? And then I'm going to put the gift letter last on the side of all of the tissue paper. Put this in sideways, and then hide it. Make it more demure, and hide it with the tissue paper. Anyway, we got here kind of late, which is pretty bad, because he had to go to work right after we came back. And I wasn't expecting the traffic to be so bad because we made it to germantown in 20 minutes 20 minutes and then it took us nearly 50 minutes to come back i'm like why is the traffic so bad that it's doubled our travel time that is actually illegal and there were so many drivers up ahead that were going slow and you could literally see the gap on the other side of the hill when we were going down we saw up ahead and the cars going uphill they were so spaced out and there were two cars specifically that were slowing down the rest of the traffic and i literally told olvi that i was like it's always one or two cars that slow everyone else down like i know there are like many multiple a plethora of reasons as to why traffic accumulates and is created in the first place but my point is that sometimes it's one or two cars that are making all the difference between traffic being tolerable and dissipating soon and getting even worse and mas estancado like more clogged up more jammed is because they don't want to hurry up especially when you're in the fast lane why are you going slow like move over and go into the other lane it's crazy because when it's super trafficy, sometimes you'll see the slow lane going way faster than the rest of the lanes and it's because the people in the faster lanes are not going faster it's like girl what are you doing what's going on i was thinking of separating a few of the gifts with some tissue papers Dang, I have work in literally an hour. So I have to wrap this up. Hmm. But not intended. It's be real and I need to do my be real. So let me do this really fast because I need to get going. I leave for work about 30 minutes before work so I can get there comfortably on time. And I'm not trying to be late today. So one more gift. Mm. Yeah, I split up the gifts a little bit in between tissue papers. Not too much because I don't want to make it seem like she's going to have to go through a labyrinth to find all of these gifts. So we're good. We're good like that. Wow, I have more. I hope she reuses this. Abby, if you're watching this, I hope you reuse this tissue paper and the gift bag for someone else's gift because at the end of the day you can keep using tissue paper until in my opinion it's too wrinkly then you can throw it out or recycle it if it's recyclable 
it's too expensive to be wasting on one use, in my opinion. I'd be reusing gift bags that people give me, gift boxes even, because as long as it still looks presentable and it doesn't look like I've run over it with a Ford F-150, we're good in the neighborhood. It's still nice, it's still usable, it's still cute. That's it. This is what the gift bag looks like. Personally, I think it looks super cute. I'm gonna move around the tissue paper a little bit so it looks a little crinkled, not too stiff and all in the same orientation. Like I don't like when the sheets are like a bunch of printer paper stacked behind each other. So I'm just gonna acomodarlo a little bit and then pop my finalized letter in there. And then put it in my car come Sunday morning. That's it. This is what it looks like. Looks pretty adorbs, I must say. Thank you for watching. This was a great... I was about to say unboxing. This is a great gift setup video. And I'm glad that you're here. Please comment, like, and subscribe so you can see more from me. And support this channel support our community support our growth together i appreciate a lot did i say appreciate a lot i meant i appreciate it a lot and i'm excited to see you next time whenever that is god bless you and take care bye i'm like i feel like i should use a different pen i might use a different pen let's see how well this writes give me a second it writes well we're good i'm gonna use this one it's always good to stay with a strong black or blue ink. You could use other scented or colorful inks for other purposes like journaling, which I do need to get back eventually. Maybe this weekend or tonight, tomorrow. We'll see. God is in control. All right. Bye. Take care.